11th, uh, 2017. Uh, we just have one, one item on our agenda this evening, and that is a public hearing on application filed by Bruce Levy as agent for the owner, Star Bay Inc., to legalize an existing deck that was built without a permit on the property located at 7 Woodbine Terrace. Uh, the required side yard setback is 10 feet, and the deck is within 5 feet, 6 inches of the uh, left side property line, requiring variance of 4 feet, 6 inches. Uh, we will be heard of this application. Good afternoon. My name is Bruce Levy, and I just have a couple of gorgeous uh, pictures to show you better appreciation of the panorama. Hear me from here. Wait, can you uh, well, you don't have to use the mic. Right, no, you can. Here, so. Okay, so um, Star Bay are the owners. Could you give us your name? Uh, oh, sorry. My name is Bruce Levy. Uh, I'm an architect at BJLA Architects right now here in Hastings, and we're representing the owner of the property, Star Bay. Uh, Star, uh, just so we know, Star Bay purchased this property. 2015, April of 2015, and uh, there was a survey of the property which showed the deck uh, on the survey, uh, and the owners assumed that the deck was legal. However, the deck was constructed a number of years before that, um, sometime from 210 to maybe 213. Uh, we know that because if we go to the Google God, <laughs> to you know, Google um, maps, uh, I did, you can see that there's a front elevation of the building showing the deck, and that photograph was dated in August of 2013. So we know that the deck was constructed by previous owners. Um, now, it went through, and the, and the current owners were not aware that the deck never had a permit. Um, but since we were filing to do other work on the building, it then arose that the deck Not only was it constructed without a permit, but it was constructed so it infringes on the setback of the side yard. I said, okay. So, um, now, just so we know and you're aware, we went to the Architectural Review, the Board of Architectural Review, um, the other day uh, because we were on the previous agenda and we had their schedule. They did approve it, of course, subject to your decision. They approved the deck and what we were going to do to the deck, and their only requirement was to add some additional landscaping in the front, which we certainly agreed to. <coughs> there for the wet house looks anyway, uh, so that there's not this little hole that looks underneath that right. In terms of the um, the deck itself, <coughs> while of course the previous owner should not have done that, uh, to some degree I can understand why they. Because there is a hardship in terms of the configuration of the site. The building is tucked into this site, and that it's actually built onto the rock. It's really a rock ledge that goes around it up rather steeply. There's a large rock outcropping in the basement of this house. Uh, the house only has about eight to ten feet across the whole rear of the property, and those are all bedrooms. So there was no there was never any access to the rear property. Um, so the previous owner changed the window to a door created this deck alongside the property so they could get out from the main living level of the house and out to the back of the property. Does that come out from the living room? Uh, no, it's a, uh, a dining room. The, the, yeah. okay. um, now also <laughs> understand, while the site plan, which you see on there, and the drawing that we prepared, um, you know, shows a large section of the property to the rear, that property is basically not usable because the rock slopes up so there's really uh, a hardship about the property. There's a, a stone walkway around the side, but prior to them building this deck, or egressing the house via this deck to get to the rear, the only way to get to the rest of the property was really to go outside and to uh, walk up a series of steps from the street. So uh, I can understand that the hardship is the configuration of the property, probably from previous owner, and now certainly Owners of the property. Now, Star Bay is improving this house, they're fixing this up, and they're adding to the value of the property uh, and to the uh, neighbor, uh, neighbor area. I don't 
don't see anybody objecting from the uh, uh, from the other neighbors. You, you did send the notification. The notification is all went out. The sign is in front of the building. Right. Okay. Notifying everybody. Um, of course, there's nobody here, but nobody has either complained about this at all in the last year and a half since new owners. And uh, I can see from, if you see the view of the house from the front, the house to the left of this house actually fronts on Hickory Hill Drive. Right. So the, the their backyard. That's what that their backyard. So there's an extended amount of space uh, between these two houses as opposed to just two side yards. And so I think all of this contributes to the fact that um, while the deck is moving out of it, not really intruding that much on the adjoining properties. Nobody's complained about that. And it's a, it's a bit of a hardship to uh, access the rest of this property, whatever is useful on the property for the house. I think that basically sets the, the motion. Now, and not as an excuse, I just want you to know that, to remind you, which is the manly <coughs> reminded me, there's actually a stipulation in the code that you could infringe on your setback if you have a covered porch, but this is not covered, of course. So it's kind of an anomaly that probably has to be straightened out. But you know there are sort of precedents for intruding into the setbacks. <clears throat> I think that's about it. I think that gives you the details and the facts. And I hope that the board gives a better <clears throat> picture of what condition. Um, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't tell from uh, you know looking at Google Maps. Uh, is the backyard of the house on Hickory Hill that backs into this uh, this property? Is that flat? Is that usable? Does it use? They have it. You can see that in the uh, panorama picture. They have a deck that's relatively flat in other properties. Yeah. Uh, and also, there's a row of trees right between these two properties, um, which in the summer in the summer that does that does, that does really create a visual yeah. barrier uh, for the two houses. So it's extended space, awkward configuration of the property. Uh, so we're requesting that the new owners uh, can leave the deck as is. Actually, they, they will be modifying the railing, by the way, because the railing that was put up by the previous owner is not really coded yeah. for yeah. because of the space. So they're just going to put up a straight um, balustrade for the forward space. <coughs> That's the posts. And improving the quality of the uh,
only if I have more projects. No. <laughs> In this particular, no, no, of course not. Nothing else uh, that we would be coming to measure. Okay. And you're not affecting the stack, you're going to keep your guess that we like to do that, yes. Move to close. Sometimes, sometimes the answer is a very long time.